So in this video, we will create a mono repo, which will have two packages called common and web. And both of these packages are React applications using TypeScript. So we will configure the mono repo so that we can share code between packages. So we will have a button component in the common package and we will use it inside the web package. I was struggling with this kind of setup just the other day and found it pretty difficult to find any information about how to make this happen. So hopefully this video will save you some trouble. So let's get started. So we will use Lerna to manage our mono repo and then we will use Yarn workspaces and create React app with the TypeScript template. So to get started, make sure you have Lerna installed globally. You can do it with the npm install global learner. Then I made a folder and opened it up in my Visual Studio code. And next we want to initialize learner inside this folder. So I'll type in learner init and let it run. So what learner init does is makes this project now a learner project. And it created us a learner.json file which has some learner configuration and then a package JSON file for this uh, root package. And it also created a packages folder which we will use to place all of our own packages. So next we have to do some modifications. So let's open up the learner.json file and add a couple of lines over here. So we define npm client. We want to use yarn for this. Then we also set the use workspaces through, so this is using yarn workspaces. Then open up the packages.json file and add the following lines. So here we define our workspaces folders, so the packages we will have, and we define it with the packages slash star, so everything inside this packages folder will be included. Okay, now we have our configuration files ready. Let's next at the two packages we talked about, so the web package and the common package. And I'm gonna do it by going to the packages folder and then using create react app to create the packages. So let's first create the web package and note that we are using the template TypeScript because we want to use TypeScript inside the package. So let's run this. And once that's run, let's add the common package the same way. Okay, it's finished. And if we check the packages folder, we can see that we have the common folder or the common package and the web package here. So next, what we want to do is actually name these uh, packages. So let's open up the package.json file inside the web folder and here in the name section I'm gonna add at tuomo slash web. So I'm gonna add a prefix of at tuomo slash to every package inside this repo. So this is the web package.json then let's open up the common one and add the prefix and then also let's add it to the root level like this. Great. So now we can reference the packages inside our application and inside different packages with these names. So next let's create the button component to the common package. So I'm opening up the common folder and the src folder and I'm gonna actually create a new folder here call it components and add a new file inside of it button.tsx like this. And inside here we will define our button component. So let me just do that. So here we have the button component. So we are defining props for this component and we want it to have a text color prop required and inside the button we will use that prop to define the text color. So this is very simple component with some typing done to it. So I'll save this. So let's test this out. So I'm gonna open up the app component and remove 
this code from here and leave only the div and then import the button and then use it over here. And as we can see, uh, it highlights the button. So if we check it out, uh, it requires the text color. So the typings are working. So let's add the text color and let's use red right now. So let's test it out. So I'm gonna fire up the dev server inside the common package. So the server is running and let's switch to the browser and we can see that we have the button over here with the red text. And if we change it to blue, for example, it automatically refreshes. So the button is working and what we actually want to do next is export this button from this common package. And how we can do that is to modify the index.tsx file. So inside here I'm actually gonna remove everything and then just import the button and export it. So let's do that. Like this. So we are importing it from the components button and then exporting it. So I'll save this. So next we want to actually use this button component inside the web package. So let's open up the web folder. I'm going to close some of these files. So inside the web folder, I'm going to open up the SRC and the app component. And inside here, I just want to display the button. So again, I'm going to erase some of the code. So we only have the div. And then I'll close this dev server from the common package and switch to the web package. And then import the button over here. So we are going to do it by import button. And now use the package name we defined in the package.json file. So inside here, we had the uh, at tuomo slash common. So we'll use that from at tuomo slash common. Like this. And then we will use the button inside the div like this. I'm gonna save this. And now let's try running the dev server. So I'm inside the web folder and I'll run yarn start. And as we can see, we get an error as you might have guessed. So it says that module not found cannot resolve the common package. So what we want to do next is let's close this server. And now I'm going to go back to the root folder. And inside here, we want to add the uh, common package as a dependency for the web package. And how to do this is by using Lerna and we can do it by typing the following. So we are using the Lerna add command and we want to add the common package as a dependency to the web package. So let's do that. And now if we check out the web package package JSON, we can see that the common package is marked as a dependency for this package. So let's try running the dev server again. So I'm going to change to the web directory and run yarn start. So still we are getting the same error message and we actually forgot to do one thing inside the common folder and in the package.json file, we need to define the main file or the entry file for this uh, package. And to do that, we just add a main property to the package.json file. And in this case, we want to use the index.tsx file as the entry point. So I'll type in src slash index.tsx. So this is the file right here that we export the button in. So I'll save the package.json file and switch back to the browser. So I have my dev server running. So now it's resolving the component, but we are still getting an error. 
And this is because we are using JSX and TSX code inside our common package and using that code inside the web package. And the problem is that Create React App configures Webpack to uh, use bubble loader for the code inside the project. But in this case, it doesn't use the loader for the code that we are importing from the other package. So what we want to do is to use bubble loader also for the code from that common package and not just the uh, code from the web package. So to do this, we need to be able to uh, modify the webpack configuration. And with Create React App, we can do this with a package called Cracko. And what Cracko is, it's a Create React App configuration override. So basically with Cracko, we can modify different configurations, including the webpack configuration. So let's install this to our uh, application. So I'll switch back to the Visual Studio code, stop the server, and we only need it in the web application right now, so let's add it over there. So yarn add and add cracko slash cracko, and I'm gonna install it as a dev dependency. So let's run that. And to modify the configurations, uh, we need cracko config file, so I'll add that. Let's see, we get it over here and let's open it up and I'm gonna paste in some configurations over here and then we'll go it through line by line. Okay, so inside this config file, what we are doing is we are importing getloader and loader by name functions from the Cracko package. And then we will define a packages array and inside that we will have the paths to all the packages we want to use this uh, bubble loader in besides our current application, so the web application. So in this case, we want to have the common package included in there. So we are just adding the path to it over here. Then uh, the config file will export an object. And because we want to modify the webpack configuration, we will add the webpack property and that's an object too. So inside here we can change the configurations with this configuration property which is a function and on the first line over here we are getting the babel loader object. So this match will have the loader object and this will tell us if the loader was found. So next we'll just check it, check that it's found and then we will create a new array which will have all the uh, packages and all the paths we want to use the loader for. So right here we are just checking that if the include is already an array we will use that but if it's something else we will convert it to array because webpack requires it to be an array. So this right here will hold all the existing uh, include paths and right here we will add the packages array which we defined here. So all the paths for our packages and then add them to the existing uh, paths. And then that array is set to the loaders include property. And lastly, we return the webpack configuration object. So if we in the future want to add more packages uh, to this, we can just add a new line over here and change the path like this, for example. If all this sounds way over your head and you are not getting a crash profit, uh, don't worry, this is basically one time setup and if you wanna add more packages to this, uh, as I said, just add new lines uh, below this one. And if you wanna look into this more, you can check out the webpack documentation for the loaders and you will see the include property over there. And also the Cracko docs will uh, tell you more about for example, this function. So now we have Cracko configured, so it should uh, use bubble loader for the common package also. So last thing we want to do is go to the uh, web packages package.json file and inside here we have the uh, scripts section and right now we are using react scripts for running these commands and we want to now use Cracko for running these scripts. 
so I'm gonna replace all of these with Krakow. Like this. And I'll save this. And now I will run the yarn start. Okay, so we still get an error, but this is a good error because we can see now that the component is actually working and it says that the property text color is missing. And this is good because now we know that the type definitions are working and the component is working. So let's switch back to the code and add that uh, text color prop over here. And this error came because inside the uh, button component we defined that the text color prop is required. So let's add that to the button. So I'll add text color and let's use the red. I'll save this, switch back to the browser and the button is working. So now we have a monorepo setup with multiple packages which use React and TypeScript and we can share code between those packages. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like below and if you are not already, subscribe to the channel also, it really helps out. I'll see you in the next video.